It is time once again for the Real People Multi Game Solitaire Mega Tournament. We are focusing on Jules' turn in Blind Justice. Jules, the green player here. She got a four, one, two, three, four jury. Let's read her case. For those of you just joining us, we are focusing on one player for each round of turns in order to make the video um, a little less in length. The Mushroom Cap versus the Knee cap. Ooh, I like that title. Supermarket shoppers often knock down displays of fruit or cereal boxes or break a jar of juice or pickles without reporting it to the management. They usually just keep on walking out of the aisle, hoping that no one will notice. In this case, the plaintiff happened to slip and fall on the contents of just such a mess. A jar of mushrooms had been smashed in the aisle. She broke her knee cap and required surgery. She sued the store for negligence in permitting an unsafe condition to exist. The defendant claimed that the plaintiff was, contrib contribu contru uh, was contributorily negligent. Doesn't say why they thought that. Um, but I guess, you know, if you run across a spill, you should be looking down. But normally the market people want you also to be looking at the shelves. So... Tough one. The jury found for the defense, not everyone, but if one of them finds for the defense, then all of them find for the defense. Uh, Jules up with people is appealing. She paid her 20,000, so now she's going to look at this book. And she gets 90,000 and she gets to roll again. So I guess we'll go ahead and roll again. We'll just remember she gets 90,000 more. And Jules is green. One, two, three, four, five. She gets a special card, and it's a novel. Whoopee! You've sold your first novel to a big publisher because you're a lawyer and also a writer. Pay the player to your right 3000 to translate the contract into understandable English. All right, so here's a lesson for you lawyers. Stick to lawyering and don't indulge in your artistic pursuits. This is the round of turns where we're supposed to uh, focus on pinkies turn, but uh, we had our first finding in favor of the defense according to our blind justice verdict book here. Um, Tater appealed this verdict which found for the defense, but the real life court agreed. Uh, and it's a case where some senior citizen fell off of, uh, some stairs and there was no guardrail. And so they thought the city should have to pay them a lot of money because they fell off the stairs. Um, the jury found that they should not have to pay that money, and the real-life world agreed. Pinky's turn. She's the current game leader, and she's been protected by being on this recess space. People can't target her with settlements, which uh, Jules just landed on one. Couldn't target Pinky. Targeted Watermelon instead. The roll didn't go in Jules' favor. So now it's Pinky's turn again. If she rolls a two or three, four, five, six she gets to move into the superior court. Three, she did not get that. She's gonna settle with Jules here. And she gets $12,000 of Jules' money. Once again, Tater appealed a decision that found for the defense only to find that the book agreed with the jurors. Um, this was a case where someone got drunk at a bar and they got hurt afterwards and was suing the bar for getting hurt. It's kind of, because of how the criminal justice system works, it kind of makes sense that you would just want to gamble because you know, you're know you spending 10,000 in order to gain possibly more and another turn. It seems like a good risk. Um, I don't think that Tater has necessarily felt like this person was maybe, maybe should have won their case, but it seemed worthwhile. Anyway, this is the round we're supposed to focus on watermelon, just to make that clear. Pinky just had the same thing happen to her in a case where a burglar was bitten by a dog. Um, she figured the, the appeals cost was 20000 which is kind of jump change when you get into the, the scale that she's working with now. She's about ready to enter Superior Court as soon as she could get the role necessary. And so... Getting to move again seemed worthwhile, the risk of 20000 
because who can say what the court system and the, the designers of this game, uh, the, the court cases they picked, whether or not they fit that or not. It's kind of, I don't know, there, there's maybe some some morality or logic to it, but it's Watermelon's turn now, so we're gonna play out her turn. She's the brown pawn. Four. One, two, three, four, settle. She already tried to settle against Pinky. I think she's gonna go with, up with People Jewels now. Up with People Jewels is actually ahead of Pinky in terms of money, though both of them qualify for Superior Court. Although if she picks Pinky, that might take her out of Superior Court contention. I think she will do that. She'll pick on Pinky. And six, so she gets 24,000. I'm not sure why this part of this is really in the game. I don't know that the board is really necessary to make this a game. I feel like you could do this as a strict party game without a board and just use these cards. Though the chance cards can be kind of interesting, I think this one is, potentially, but I don't know that it's necessary to have the board. But the board is beautiful. And Watermelon did take Pinky out of Superior Court contention. We're going on to the next round of turns. Tater as in Tot is going to be our focus. The black pawn. Two, one, two. So recess means she is immune to settlements from other players. Jules has garnered herself a fun pair of, uh, I don't know whether they call them chance cards or pit windfall cards, but um, I guess it says chance card on the card. Fun pair of, but I like pit win, pitfall windfall better because it's not used in Monopoly. So we'll use that. Pitfall windfall cards. Um, one lets her use the card in place of the appeals cost of a card, but only in the district court. So she's going to probably use that next chance she gets because she's going to go on to Superior Court soon unless she gets hit by some settlement or something. The other one is press coverage, which um, if she ever is looking to the verdict book uh, due to an appeal, she can double the payout, which could be pretty big. And that, oh, it has to be district court as well. So she'll probably use either of those as soon as possible because hopefully for her, she'll be up with people and get to the superior court soon. All right, it's a round where we focus on up with people jewels. She's the only one who currently qualifies to go into superior court. She is our blue or green player. Here we go, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's not gonna get her there. She can settle though, and she'll settle against Pinky, the closest leader in the game. Fun fact, actually, Pinky and Tater are both flight attendants. Two, so she gets 8,000 from Pinky, which is gonna keep her down a little bit. Watermelon's turn, we're not focus on, focusing on her, but this is an important given her district court thing. She's about to pass recess. If she rolls a one, she gets a million. If she doesn't, she is going to have to pay a hundred thousand. She's going to keep trying for that million, though. It seems like it seems to her as an auditor that chances are she is going to hit recess unless she goes into superior court. But assuming she doesn't go into superior court, she'll hit recess prior to losing a million worth of a hundred thousand dollar notes. So she got a four. One, two, three, four. So she'll get a pitfall windfall. I guess I'll go ahead and draw that because that's not going to take a lot of time. New legal and office, new legal aid office for the needy cut supply of easy taxpayer refinanced fees. Reluctantly pay six, pay six thousand to the clerk. So she's going to have to pay one hundred six thousand as a result of this turn. Although it's not Jules's turn to be highlighted during this round, there's an interesting thing. So it's two women are playing golf, and there's a three-wheeled golf cart. And I don't know if that's because one of the wheels is bum or it was just designed that way. I'm not aware. I don't know enough about golf carts in the 70s or 80s, whenever this was made. But I assume they, I guess they typically had four wheels. So we'll assume it was because there was a bum wheel. Um, it tipped over, so she hurt her knee and back. She sued the driver, who is supposedly the defendant in this case, I guess. But the, then the driver went on to sue the golf people for giving a bad cart. Um, and it's hard to know whether this the suing amount should apply to the driver or 
to the uh, company, but the jury awarded it 20000 And so does Jules appeal? If she doesn't appeal, if she does appeal, she no longer qualifies to go into superior court. But she feels like if she does appeal, she could probably win. Um, I think she's not going to appeal, though. She wants to go into superior court. The ninety thousand would take her. The appeal cost would take her below the three hundred thousand she needs. But if she wins, then she could roll again and possibly go into. Let's look at her card. She's spontaneous. She's into positive thinking. Okay, we'll let her appeal. So let's take a look at number fifty-three. She has to pay ninety thousand. We'll try to remember that. Number fifty-three here. 235000 so she gets the money, power of positive thinking. She gets her money back, so she, so I don't have to do, I don't have to figure that out. Well, she has 35000 she gets, then she's going to roll again. We'll just roll again on camera to see if she gets onto the, nope, she's in recess, which is nice for her because people have been targeting her with settlements. Watermelon's turn for focus. She's not doing so hot. I mean, up with people, Jules. She's got a butt ton, but so really she's kind of got to be thinking about second place because of our career schematic where being in second is actually quite a lot better than being third. But right now she's in last place. Two. Jury. Hot wires. Their telephone conversation ended with a bang. During the lightning and thunderstorm, the plaintiff was using the phone when a bolt of lightning was conducted through the telephone wires. His face was burned from the electrical jolt. He contends that the telephone company did not properly ground the wires initially and sued them for negligence. Okay, well, I don't think anyone's going to rule for the defendant in this case. Uh, I, I, but again, it's a different time. I don't know if... You were you were cautioned not to use phones during electrical storms in the past. I know I haven't heard that these days. So I think people are going to be generous. They're going to say fifty thousand. So now I, I I purposely started covering that up. I think she's going to appeal it anyway to hope to get more. Um, when I said that, I meant the red part. I try to cover it up so I don't see that when I make the juror decision. Then I turn it upside down. So she's going to pay 8000 which is a pittance in this game. By pittance, I mean it's not that much. And then we're going to look it up. Case number 81, watermelon needs something. Just for the record, if you run out of money in this game, you just start over. It's not a huge deal. Uh, 81. Okay, 60,000. So she does, she gets her court cost back, the 8,000. I guess I could have done it the same way I did before, but I know you enjoy watching me try to manipulate this paper money with my less dominant hand. Really, you kind of need two hands for these because they kind of stick together. I don't think this game's really been played before. Um, and she gets another 60000 Bully for watermelon. She gets to roll again. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Pitfall, windfall. Liability insurance. The player on your right just won a big judgment for his car accident. Coincidentally, your car insurance premiums just doubled. All players must pay four thousand apiece to the player on your right, and so Tater gets four thousand from everyone, which is pretty nice for her. Twelve thousand dollars, and it's time again to focus on Tater, as in Tot. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Jury, does she have enough to go in? She might. I should stop and look and count her money, because um, otherwise she's gonna. If she has $300,000, she's going to move into here. But you have to end your turn on one of these spaces. 
Yep, she does. So let's go ahead and resolve her jury thing. Cast carted away. Upon finishing her marketing, a 65-year-old woman left the store with a shopping cart. Much to her surprise, the manager ran after her, shouting obscenities and throwing her purchases out of the cart. Prying her fingers off the handle, he pushed her to the ground. She, she is suing the store for severe emotional distress and humiliation. The manager was just enforcing the store's policy that carts are not to leave the premises. Hmm. Well, I think they're going to give her something for that. Um... Now, we got to keep in mind that um, Tater is not likely to appeal. The appeal cost is, I don't know. They don't know what it is, but she, yeah, if it's greater than 35000 she's not going to want to appeal right now, or $40,000. Um, I think, huh. I think Jules would actually probably find in favor of the defendant. But I don't know that she would. Maybe if you were gaming the game, you would. But I don't know that Jules would. I think Jules would want that old woman to get something. Um, it's tough. That's tough. I think someone would probably find in favor of the defendant. So let's look at the appeals costs. 75000 Tater is not going to try it. She's going to let it go. So that next turn, she can go into the Superior Court. And that's interesting. I, I know that there's a game in um, Lawyerton. You know, the, the timing of things, the politics behind it matters. And I guess the point of this board maybe kind of reflects that in a very abstract manner where when the case takes place in your own sort of personal um, career as a lawyer definitely matters in terms of what you're going to want to do. I mean the justice system isn't just whoever has the best case wins. There's a lot of other details and factors that take place. And I'm excited to explore those with you next time on the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament, Lawyer, Blind Justice.